tutorial and today we are going to be making resin for my business. Okay. So first I'm going to be putting part A which is the resin 10 millimeters. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes it gets those over. Okay. Oh, and make sure you have your gloves on because resin is extremely toxic. And first, and now, <laughs> yeah, as you can see. It has gone up to 10, so we're going to close this. Okay, we're going to close it and put it back so we have more space. Now you want to take part B, which is a hardener. This is what hardens everything. <laughs> okay, I just want to check if I put the same amount of everything because if I don't, then it screws up the whole entire process and doesn't harden if you have something big sticky. a little slow so there's not <laughs> much bubbles <laughs> okay I put too much hard in there so I'm gonna put a little bit more resin <laughs> Since I have the resin ready, I'm going to put this glitter in this glitter. So what I do is I pour the resin, pour a little bit of resin inside here. So why did you start making resin stuff? To raise money for me and to do stuff that I love. And I spread it so it's equal everywhere. <laughs> and then I pour some glitter. Okay, and then now I take a smaller spoon and push it in. This is a mess, but I cleaned this up. Think about it. Um, I really, so when I first started resin, I really liked doing it, just like putting different designs and stuff. So yeah, and I love making it. It would probably be better to just spread the glitter out before you put it in here. But this is how I do it. Resin, so um, it's better to put resin in a different room because if you do, because resin is toxic and you don't want to have to breathe it in much. So, yeah, now I have one piece done. I'm going to up there. Um, now, I'm going to do an S with pink glitter. So, what I'm going to do now. And I'm going to pour a little bit of resin 
this guy here. And then I put some pink glitter, which I don't have much of. So this is impossible to open. I have new pink glitter because this glitter was glued shut. I put this glitter in here. Um, and then I mix it with a little spoon. Now I pour it in the S mold. Uh, I started making resin about a month ago, and I have raised eight materials. There, so it is all filled. A little bit of leftover resin, so I like to take a very small mold and put some in there, which I'm going to do this. That's one of my favorite molds because they turn out really good. Okay, and I just pour it in. This here, so it's more quickly. It's going to be glitter at the bottom and clear at the top. There. Um, now, we are going to do another mold. We're going to do this mermaid one. We put gold. No, we're going to do this blue glitter again. So with the rest of the resin left, I'm just going to pour it. Okay, and now I'm going to pour it into the mermaid mold. Okay, now I'm going to Being uneven because the resin will shift on its own. So I'll just put that over here. And now I'm going to try to fill up this mold. Did you start this business? Well, so when I... So I used to do a lemonade stands and like I really like the mechanism of working and stuff like that. So I really wanted to start my own business and see if this could work out. resin as I can because I don't want to waste any because resin is really expensive. Now since I have no more resin, well first I put the bookmark on the tray. Now that I have no more resin left, I start to clean up. I put my materials in. And I throw this away and I put this in in a room where no one sleeps in. So here are some pieces that turn out good. I made some different letters. And as you can guess, my name starts with L. <laughs> my name is Lilia. Here's one of the mermaid sale bookmarks. Here's an S. And yeah. So now I clear all this away. 
and this is a mold if you're wondering this makes a key it is a fake key by the way um, now I go over to my own room and I get the, this mold as well because I did something on here. Okay, now it is time for the cleanup process, which is the most hated process. <laughs> so what I do is I take out all the molds, put them aside, and put some of the molds back. Um, this I throw away, which I put in my sister's trash. And I really recommend silicone cups if you're doing resin because all you really have to do is just um, is when the resin dries you could just crack them out but sometimes the glitter doesn't really come off and I also recommend a silicone mat so you could just peel off the excess resin but I like to get a tissue and get out the glitter in here and I also like to this one up too. This can take multiple tissues. <laughs> Sometimes I just take it out with my finger. And then I just take off the tissue so now there's no more glitter in here and there's some glitter at the outside too so I take that off yeah my hands are all glittery but it's fine and I take a tissue and wipe away the glitter from here this one's a bit easier because it's a bit smaller and open So now what I do, just leave these out for the resin to dry. Okay, now I take my gloves off and I put all this in the trash. Okay, I'm done. Take my apron off. <laughs> like it qualities. <laughs> <laughs> expect to happen when you first launched your business but well, I expected it to actually work because I because first I got like I was really serious about this all my others failed so I was really serious about this one and I expected it to turn out really good. Okay, thank you for your time today. No, you didn't.